Hi, my name is Bob Samard. I'm going to be your instructor for this segment of your training. The session that we're going to start on today is called AP or Accounts Payable. Now, Accounts Payable is one of four different modules within the financial world. The other three being Accounts Receivable, Fixed Assets, and General Ledger. So on a most likely on a normal everyday uh, financial system, you're going to have those four modules. So let's concentrate on AP or Accounts Payable. Accounts Payable has one main function that it has to do. When our vendors provide us with material or a service, they send us an invoice and we have to pay them. So basically the Accounts Payable module is going to allow us to enter invoices and then create checks to pay our vendors. Okay, so if we look at the workflow for something like this, we create an invoice. And an invoice is going to have certain information on it. It's going to have the vendor. And it's going to have what we bought, and the quantity, and the price. And so what happens is, normally we have Billy, our accounts payable clerk, every day gets stacks of mail, and he opens them up, and inside is an invoice. And inside that invoice, he's going to find the vendor, what we bought, how many we bought, and the price. Now, the first thing that Billy wants to do is he wants to ask, is this a valid invoice? Should we pay it? So what he does, he calls up the purchasing department. And he asked them, said, did we give the authority to buy from vendor ABC this part and at this quantity at this price? And the people down in purchasing will look at the equipment, they'll look at their purchase orders, and they'll say, yes, that's a valid system. So what we have here is now we have a purchase order. And it says what the vendor, what we bought, the quantity, and the price. And so now Billy says, whoa, that's good. So we have the authority to buy this, but did we receive these parts? Because I don't want to pay the invoice until we receive them. So what Billy does is he goes down to the receiving department. He says, did we get any receipts for this part from this vendor in the last few days? And the receiving clerk looks at his records. He says, yes, we did. We got a receipt. And inside, we had the vendor, what we bought, quantity and it doesn't have the price on the receiving document. So now Billy says that's valid so now it's okay to pay. So basically what happens is by taking this invoice, taking the purchase order and taking the receiving document we can create a check to pay our vendor. And this is what they call a three-way match. So most accounts payable systems do this. Now, years ago, we did what Billy had to do. We went through all the manual steps to do this. In today's accounting systems, they're more integrated. So what happens is, when the people in purchasing are buying things, they're entering all the purchase orders onto a database. And so that database has all the purchase orders. <clears throat> Down to receiving, when he receives items, he enters all those receipts against a database. And so now all the receipts are in a database. Billy and the other accounts payable clerks, when they're up in accounts payable and they're entering documentation, they enter all the invoices into a database. And so now what we have is just people doing data entry and at some time we tell the system to run a process to say, look at all these invoices, go find all the purchase orders, go find all the receipts and everything that has this three-way match, create a check and it's okay to pay. Okay? Now, this is a concept mainly of accounts payable. And that's going to be the end of today's lesson. But before we want to break, what we're going to talk about next in the next couple of segments is how do we set up all this information so that people know that when we buy product that we shouldn't get sales tax, things of that nature. And what happens if we agreed upon that we were going to buy 10 items, but they sent us 11 or they sent us 9? How does the system handle discrepancies instead of this automated three-way match? Thank you very much. Time for a break.